recite at matins. When somebody passes away, what narration do we recite? That when a child of Adam passes away, when a son of Adam leaves the world, his actions cease, except three things. One of them is what? That you leave behind pious offspring. You leave behind a child who remembers you and who remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will receive the reward for that as well. Another one is what? That you accumulate wealth and you distribute that in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in such a manner that people are able to benefit from that even after you've left the world. Another one is what? That you accumulate knowledge and you gather knowledge and then you teach that to people. Once you have died and you have left the world, until those people are seeking and benefiting from the knowledge that you left behind, you will be rewarded for that. In summary, Imam Ibn Kathir Ta'ala is saying what? That it's not only what you do in the world, not only the actions that you do whilst you are alive that you will be accountable for and you can receive reward for. But in summary, Imam Ibn Kathir is saying it is also your legacy that counts. What you leave behind after you die, your legacy. And how many names can I mention of people that passed away years ago, hundreds of years ago, in the month of Muharram, around the globe. People gather in the masjid to remember one single personality. Sayyidina Imam Hussain radiallahu ta'ala an, the martyr of Karbala, he gave his life and his family for the sake of the religion. That's why thousands of miles away from Karbala, me and you city and still remember him. Great people, great men of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who left legacies. In particular, the companions of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In particular, the scholars. We still benefit to this day from the compilation of hadith of Imam Bukhari rahimahullah ta'ala. We are still benefiting from the work that Imam Muslim ibn Hajjad rahimahullah compiled. We are still benefiting from the works of Ibn Dawu, Abu Dawud. We are still benefiting from the works of Imam Nisai. We are still benefiting from the works of Ibn Majah. We are still benefiting from the tasawwuf and the teachings of Imam Al-Khazali. These people did not pass away yesterday or a year ago or two years ago. They've been gone for centuries, but they left behind a legacy that is worth remembering. A legacy that me and you can act upon and follow as well. In those people who left the legacy, one of the greatest of them is Imam Musir rahimahullah ta'ala. He left the legacy of the Qasidat al-Burda. He left the legacy of remembering and